Don't spend any more money than you have to when buying your domain in 2024. To make sure you're getting a good price, don't make these mistakes. Mistake number one, trying to get everything in one place. If you're building your website, getting hosting, created an LLC, and they're giving you a domain for free for the first year, they're betting you'll forget about the domain and just pay whatever price they wanna charge you for the renewal for year two and beyond. Examples, Squarespace, first year for free with many plans, but $20 per year for a .com domain for the renewals. Bluehost is a popular option for hosting your website. You'll get a domain for free for the first year, but again, the renewal is gonna cost $19.99 and you'll also have to pay $15 per year for privacy protection. Here's a list of website builders, hosting companies, and business formation services where you could get a domain for free for the first year. Also, if you didn't know this already, you're not actually purchasing your domain, you're only renting it. You'll have to pay for the use of your domain on an annual basis. Mistake number two, paying for privacy protection. There is a database of the owners of domains called I Can Look Up. If you don't have privacy protection, your name, phone number, email, and physical address will be listed when purchasing a domain. If you're a dentist and your contact information is clearly listed on your website, not a big deal for you. But if you work from home, you probably don't want all this information listed publicly. Most domain registrars give you the option to put their contact information in place of yours so your information remains private. The bad thing, many domain registrars are gonna charge you for this service. You could pay up to $15 per year for privacy protection. The good thing is that many of the services that we'll talk about later on this video are not gonna charge you for this. Mistake number three, not checking the renewal price. You may see a great price for the first year of your domain, or as mentioned earlier, it might be given to you for free for the first year, but make sure you actually check the renewal price. Some websites make it very clear on what the renewal price is gonna be, like the option I'm showing you right here, but others don't mention it as very difficult to find. You have to dig somewhere on their website or you're just gonna find out when your domain renews. Mistake four, allowing other free services to be added to your cart when making a purchase. Here's an example with mistakes two, three, and four when purchasing a domain from domain.com. I go to purchase a domain and it automatically sets it to two years. A .com domain costs $11.99 per year, fairly reasonable. Privacy protection is added for $8.99 per year. And then they're being so kind, they're giving me a .online domain for free for the first year. If we go and check on the renewal price for the .com domain, it's $21.99 per year, almost double the registration price per year. Then if we want to find the cost for a .online domain, the renewal is going to cost $49.99. The privacy protection also increases from $8.99 to $12.99. So when the renewal comes up, I'll be paying $21.99 for a .com domain, $12.99 for privacy protection for the .com domain, then $49.99 for the renewal for the .online domain that I didn't even want, and another $12.99 for the privacy protection for this domain for a grand total of $97.96 for one year. Another example of a domain registrar I recommend avoiding is GoDaddy. You'll see things like this where you can get a .com domain for just a penny, a great deal, right? Then you see below that you'll be paying $43.99 today. How does this make sense? Well, you'll be paying $29.99 for year two and three, and they're being so nice, they're giving you year one for just a penny. If you just take the average for these three years, it's $14.66 per year, and yes, the renewal after year three is gonna be $21.99 per year. Then they try to get you to add full domain protection for $9.99 per year. Somewhat recently, privacy protection is free with GoDaddy, where they're not gonna add your contact information to the ICON database, but they're trying to get you to purchase this service. What is it actually offering? Well, they're gonna protect you from hackers, stealing your domain, basically allowing you to turn on two-factor authentication so they can't get into your GoDaddy account and steal your domain. I would think this would be something that would be included for free with your purchase. Now that you've seen a few examples of what to avoid, let's now go through a few better options for purchasing your domain. When I first stopped using GoDaddy, we started purchasing domains from Namecheap. Namecheap isn't bad, it includes free privacy protection, but there are a few things I don't like. We can get a .com domain right now for $5.98. The normal first year price is $10.28. We need to create a counter sign in to get the $5.98 price, but the renewal price is not the $13.98 that's crossed out right here. On this page, you can see the renewal price is gonna be $15.88. We can do better. Google domains, Google should have straightforward pricing, right? Oops, well, as of September, 2023, Google Domains is no longer selling domains. This business was sold to Squarespace. Google used to offer low-cost domains, including privacy protection. Squarespace isn't the worst option. At least they have straightforward pricing and privacy protection is included for free. The list of really good options for purchasing domains keeps getting smaller and smaller. Two options I haven't personally used, but they do offer free privacy protection 
and have decent prices. Their websites seem a little bit dated, but these two could work. Name Silo, you can purchase a .com domain for $13.95 for the first year. The renewal is the same price. Dynadot, $10.19 for a .com domain for the first year, as well as the renewals. Now let's move on to my two favorite domain registrars, Cloudflare. A couple of years ago, Cloudflare launched a domain registrar business because they noticed the same things we've been discussing in this video. Many businesses charge way too much when purchasing domains. Cloudflare's main business is web security for large businesses. You've probably seen something like this when you're logging into your bank account or other online account. This is Cloudflare. As you can see here, Cloudflare does this at cost. They make no profit from this business. You can get a .com domain for $9.15 for the first year, as well as the renewal. Cloudflare is great because you're not gonna find a cheaper option for the long term. The one issue with Cloudflare is this isn't their main business. They dedicate little to no customer support to helping beginners manage their domains. If you don't know what name servers or DNS records are, this might not be the best option for you. That brings me to where I've been purchasing all of our domains for the last couple of years, porkbun.com. The regular price for a .com domain with porkbun is $10.37 sense and you can see very clearly the disk are new for the same price. With your purchase, you'll receive privacy protection, an SSL security certificate, several free trials, and email and URL forwarding, as well as great customer service. As a test, I just called Pork Bun's customer service number. From the moment I called the number, I was talking to one of their customer service reps in just 19 seconds. You may have questions when you're connecting your website to your domain or when you're getting your business email set up. If you ever have any issues, you can quickly be speaking with someone at Pork Bun who's there to help. For me, it's totally worth the extra a dollar per year to go with pork bun versus Cloudflare. If you use our link to porkbun.com in the description below, you'll receive a dollar off the first year of their regular price domains. Now that you know where to purchase your domain, here are two important next steps building your website, and setting up your business email. Above, you'll find a video with the best website builders in 2024, and below, you'll learn how to set up your business email using Google Workspace. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.